fit. a lot the last couple of weeks uh, against the run, talking about Jacksonville. Is that what like you've seen on film? Is that scheme or is that just being in the wrong place, poor tackling? What, what do you see? Yeah, I mean, every game is, is different. Um, they got good players, and we, we, we know from – our game early in the season, we got our hand full, and we got to make sure we get all these guys and, and handle what they throw at us. They're a talented group, and they they get going, they can make life hell for you. You confident that, that you guys have made some pretty significant changes, uh, you know, since the nine sack game to to avoid those kinds sure. of numbers again? Sure. You look at every game and you try to make improvement. I think if you if you don't, it'll catch up to you. That's why this thing it, it grows as we go along, and I know that's sometimes. Gets stated a lot, but it's it's the truth. And we get we got to make improvement week to week. And coming off of Kansas City, we got to make a, another step this week. So we're constantly looking to, to tweak things, and improve wherever we can. A big part of that performance, the nine sack, Clayus Campbell, he was disruptive sure. against the run too. They move him around. What makes him such a disruptive player? Well, he's a great player. I mean, he's obviously when he goes, he's he's hard for a lot of a lot of guys to stop when he gets when he gets going vertically. Uh, so they, they, they move him some, and he's he's a load inside. He's been playing a long time. Um, I actually played against him in college. The guy's that old. But he's uh, – and they, they kind of fed off him. And if you go back to that game early, you know, it was not great for us, but it was – we were going, we're going. We got down, and that's what you don't want to get. You get down three possessions, and it becomes an obvious two-minute situation. Those guys can pin their ears back. How'd that Is go it? in college? Uh, well, we played down there. It was the old Orange Bowl. They ended up getting us. We had the lead, and they ended up getting us. Is it unique the way they, they loop him? I've seen it sound like he goes three gaps over and yeah. he still gets to the court. Yeah, he covers a lot of ground. I mean, he takes two steps and he's there in a hurry. You know, you go back to the one he had on Marcus. I mean, you blink and the guy was right there on the screen. Uh, you know, he's a really good player. What's the balance in terms of preparing to see some stuff again from them versus what you've seen on film just the last couple of weeks? Yeah, you go back and you you obviously saw you see what they did successfully, and you see how they've evolved over the season too. You know they, their de- their defense and that scheme it's it's evolved from year to year from Gus Bradley since Todd Wash took over. You know they've added different coaches and Dom Capers is in there now, so you see there's an evolution there. And they were doing stuff early in the year they've had success with, and they so yeah you you got to prepare for everything and obviously understand what hurts you and why it hurts you. What's their secondary doing to compensate for losing? Oh, those guys are talented. I mean, Bouye, I mean, they're they're aggressive, and they they've been that way whether Ramsey was in there or not. And uh, got a lot of respect for them. They're gonna they're gonna come back. They'll, they'll be they'll be raring to go on Sunday. I think there was a, it might have been after the run against the Chiefs where the, I guess the cameras caught him on the sideline, kind of encouraging him, having some words for him. I don't know whether it was hey we're gonna keep riding. Do you remember what that was all yeah, about? Yeah, no, I you know Derek is, uh, you know he he played all he played an excellent game against Kansas City. Just try. Keep them, keep them going. Letting them know that hey, this no matter what happens, we're gonna keep keep feeding you the ball, and it uh, worked out for us. What do you, you think? See that being something that happens down the stretch a lot. Any of our good players, and if the game's you know going, you, you, you're going with the hot hand, and uh, certainly Derek's a huge part of it, and he's did a nice job. But all those guys, and that, those games changes. You know, you just say that like fixed, that, like we got to check off this box. Obviously, we, we we have a plan to get guys going, but you just have to see the flow of the game. In to going. Derek, what, what do you think, uh, if anything, have been the changes you've seen in his style since? You know, I mean, you've seen him obviously for a number right, of so, years since he's a rookie. It's sure. it's like a lot of things. So he's now every year he's he's improved and he he's getting into a rhythm and he he did this last year he got into a rhythm as the season uh, went along and he's been pretty steady all year, and uh, so he's just improved. He works really hard at it. He's very diligent. Mike Mike was uh, talking earlier about maybe some like decision making. Uh, Maybe that was part of his improvement too. You know, when what, what moves he has to make, uh, sure. that, that kind of thing. Is that something that you're? Yeah, we 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 constantly work it. He works at it. He's conscientious of it about how he's pressing, how he's reading things, and that just comes with improvement, a lot of reps and experience. What's the balance and the fine line when Derek gets in one of those rhythms to continuing to ride him versus the down and distance situations, and also worrying about you know tiring him out, knowing he might need a breather at some point. Yeah, there's all there's there's plenty of factors that go in, and you brought up some really good points there. In there, there's a lot of things that go in, like how the rhythm of the game going, how they're playing us, how how we're, you know, blocking, and what's the score of the game, where we are situationally, and where he's at, because things happen all the time. That behind the scenes, well, maybe a guy needs a break here or there, or, or 
and you rotate them in or you see a certain situation or they may play something you may have packaged. But those are all good points. What's Curry's last game give you in terms of some options for the offense? Yeah, he's a, um, he's a guy that was in Minnesota. You know, we obviously took a look at him locally here from Bandy. And he's a guy that we feel, feel like could be another versatile piece. And so we'll, we'll end up seeing. We'll see what he, what he can do for us.